This is Steve from Magna Motor Company in Farnborough. We have a July 2004 Toyota Alphard. Now this is the 2362 2cc engine, very similar to the UK Previa engine, which will run on the new fuel, um, which the V6 one won't. It needs to run on super unleaded and this one will run on the cheaper fuel. And we won't buy the V6s, they're about 14 to 16 to the gallon. So, And some of them are belt driven, where this is a chain driven engine very much the same as the Estima and Previa engine, same air filter, oil filter, and a great, great power plant. Um, got people that tow with these, so they're quite a good vehicle. Now this is genuine mileage, built to mileage guarantee. Tokyo town car originally, so not been used on sorted roads. You can see the underside pictures on the website as well, so there's no rust underneath it, because it's uh, been rack parked in Tokyo and used on unsorted roads. It's a premium edition, so it's quite high grade car. It's white, but it's not van man white, it's metallic white, so it's got like a lacquer on it. Uh, changes color, it's like pearlescent. So it's quite a nice color. I think they look very nice in this color. Nice alloys. Limo tint, top tint on the windscreen. Twin sunroofs on this one, it is an eight seater. These um, deflectors on here, it's quite handy if you go camping, you can put, the, put it down and sleep in the car and get a bit of air through. Well, plus, this has got sunroofs as well. First of all, you notice when you stick your nose inside, it doesn't smell of cigarettes. So many of them have come over from Japan that have been smoked in. Basically, the people would put us like a smelly device in it, it would take the smell out, but then it comes back in a couple of months. Uh, so, you won't get that with this car. So, you can see it's not been smoked in. It's one thing we do check, as well as quite a few other points. It's Alcantara interior, it's a really nice trim. It's not all scratched and knocked about. It's um, yeah, very, very, very tidy car. I think it's about 12 cup holders in it. Power doors. Twin. No sagging headlining. You have to be careful on these in the corners. They start to, the glue starts to go if the cars have been left outside all the time where the headlining just drops and, it, and you can't really fix it. So so it's got the table tops on the back of the seats, the spinning seats. Um, they lay totally flat, so you can you can either have them this way around and then you can have a nice little armrest in the middle, more cup holders. If you pull that lever there, I don't know how good I'll be at doing this one-handed, but there we go, there we go. You can see it starts to twist uh, so you can spin it around and have them facing backwards. It's got seat belts going backwards here, then full seat belts up here. We can put six multi-point seat belts throughout the whole car, something else we do. Um, so if I quickly jump in the back, see what I can do. So on these seats here, you've got these bases that just lift out. And then they hook into the floors here. It's a case of just lifting this off, he says, one-handed. Here we go. So that's down now. So that's laying flat. So that's ready if you want to turn it into a bed. And then the other one lays flat coming down now. So basically these middle seats will then lock into these seats. It is actually quite comfortable. This seat belt pops out the way. And, uh, you know, I've slept in one. They really are quite comfortable to sleep in. So if you're on an occasional night trip, you get stuck, you can use this. So yeah, very, very nice car, very tidy. We uh, can fit tow bars, DAB units uh, to the head units. Kenwood Systems. We have the full Toyota software to hand as well, so we can plug in, check these, check the hybrids, we keep parts in stock, we will service your car, we will look after you and your car. You don't need to go anywhere else, we will sort, sort everything out for you. So if you need any more help or advice, please call Steve or Murray at Magnum Motor Company and we'll be happy to help you. Give us the thumbs up if you like the video and um, yeah, uh, follow us if you're interested in what we're doing. Thanks again for looking at the YouTube video.